Now, I know why you're here. That's because you like that Mongolian beef, right? Check it out. I'm finna expose the game and show you guys just how easy it is to make Mongolian beef AB style. Let's get it. Now, I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna go ahead and start by just cutting down our, you know, our sir sirloin steak, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it in like this, just in half. And I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip. If you take your steak or any protein and you put it in the uh, freezer and you want it to get a little bit on the hard side, that way you can just go ahead and cut them down. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these in little strips. You see that right there? That's what we want. Now, before I even go any further, I wanna show you this. Look, this right here, it's called a zip quicker. This is your sous chef, this is your help in the kitchen, right? One of these, and I don't know, you guys might say, hey, you can make one of these, but this right here has been my buddy. And with the holidays coming, I'm gonna tell you what, you're gonna need to put some stuff in the, uh, instead of putting that Tupperware in your refrigerator, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a lot of, uh, you, it's gonna make your footprint big in there and you're gonna have like, you know, some leftovers, right? But when you use a Ziploc, you can get everything nice, flat, and stack them. Now, back over here to this right here. Look, I'm cutting these down in about a quarter of an inch strips, right? Real simple. I'm not gonna bore you guys, I'm gonna just take these and just drop them in there and I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. If I didn't really finish my, uh, what I was saying about putting it in the refrigerator, when you put it in the refrigerator, look, when it get a little hard, it makes it really, really nice and easy to cut. But as you can see, this is one of my knives right here. This is my chef knife. Look, got the signature on it. Make great gifts for anybody that want to pick one of these up for the holiday. Hey, better yet, pick one of these up for yourself. One of the things that draw me to this is just the fact that they got this blue handle, right? The weight is good, but most importantly, it holds a sharp edge. Okay, so if you look right inside of here, you can see how they are right you cut them how you want to but i'm gonna show you a little little pro tip right now i'm gonna buy step bypass a step really sometimes you can take these I'm just, it's really up to you you can lay them all flat put some saran wrap get yourself meat tenderizer and boom 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 right but i'm not gonna do that i don't want to use this edge either i'm gonna use a flat smooth edge i'm gonna show you why because what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna take this out i'm gonna go ahead and get some of this air out of here right we close this Ziploc bag, all right? And I'm just gonna try to get them as flat as I can get them and really not really worry about it, all right? Now that I have that done, take this here and now I'm just gonna flatten it. Okay, so you see that? Look, I can feel the bag. You can feel it's nice and, you know, like somewhat flat, right? Just by step, by past the other step, right? Trust me, you're gonna, you know, thank me for it. Now, if I pull one of these out of here, you can look. See how it does that? Look, this is what helps tenderize it. And then if it's open, just open them all up if you beat them up like this, right? Now, I'm getting ready to come with my cornstarch. Real simple, folks. Take this and just add that. Just put it all in the inside, all right? Go ahead, I'll leave a little bit of air in here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna coat all of our steak, right? Remember we flattened, we good there. One of the things I like about using this plastic bag is look, you can see what's done and what's not. All right, so after you, you know, you finish going ahead and coating, and I'm gonna tell you guys one thing too, listen, the coating gonna have another step, right? Cause listen, after we put this back in here, that, you know, the cornstarch we put on in here is gonna help thicken up the sauce. Now, what I'm doing is I'm building up a little heat, right? I've already turned it on. Now I'm getting ready to add my oil cause we want to get this nice and hot. Okay, I'm checking my oil. I can see that that's right, right? You want to get yourself a bowl, get yourself a paper towel, Look, I'm using my walk, walk style hex clad, but you know what? You guys can go ahead and use a, you know, a frying pan, anything like that, right? So now I'm just getting ready to start adding these. You don't want to put too much in here, right? This would be good right here. All right, so look, we just want to brown them. If you got a medium high heat, look at this right here. And once you flatten them, that's what keeps them tender and they flat, so they cook kind of fast, right? So I just put them over here like this. Now I'm just gonna take a little salt, 
you know what I mean, just put a little salt on them, just a little bit. And then we'll continue to cook these like in bunches. All right, so look, what I did was I turned my fire off. Look, you can see I got a little bit of that oil, right? You see all that down there? That's the fine. We want to pick all of that up because we're getting ready to make that sauce, right? Now, this is what I'm going to suggest to you guys. Instead of trying to do it in here, I'm going to do it very beginner friendly, right? So we're going to need about a tablespoon of ginger, fresh ginger, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just start grading this way. Now, what I'm doing is I'm grading everything inside this bowl, and then I'll bring my temp back up, right? You feel me? Look, trying to do it as much as beginner friendly as possible. This way we don't burn none, nothing, right? Because then we got to come with that, you know, our garlic cloves too. All right, got the ginger done. And now we come with our cloves. You all know this is my favorite time of cooking right here. We get to go ahead and put that, that squeeze on it, that twist, right? So if you guys pay attention right there, look at that. Now I've already started bringing my oil back up to temp, but I just didn't want it to be too hot, all right? All right. Oil's up to temp. Now we just go ahead and just drop this in here like that. Key is you're gonna want to keep everything moving, right? Once you got it going like that, I'm gonna add some chili flakes to it. Just a little bit. I like mine to be a little bit more on the spicier side like that. Now I'm gonna come with my soy. Now we working folks. The aromatic that comes off of this is gonna be fire. This is gonna remind you of your favorite Asian restaurant. Now I'm getting ready to add my water. Just about a third of a cup, folks. You don't wanna let that heat back up. You know what I mean? Cause you're gonna wanna see a boil from that. Remember, it's about having the right tool for the job. Look how I'm using this spatula. Everything is working. And not to mention I'm using these hex clad pots and pans, right? Nothing sticks. Look, you see that? All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add my, you know, my sugar, right? If you got any lumps, now would be a good time to just go ahead and try to like just break them up, right? As soon as you get them all broken up, you get it all in here. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna continue to stir. You wanna see it boil. I know I'm nice and hot already. You can look at it right there, see that? That's what you're looking for, you see it? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it down and let it, you know, thicken up just a little bit. Now heat gonna play a big factor in this because you put too much heat on there too long, it'll become thick like candy, like molasses, caramel. That's not what you want, so stay with it. And I'm gonna show you guys just, you know, what you should be looking for. All right, so you can see we had a nice boil, right? I don't want to reduce this down and make it thicken all the way up. This is what you want to have. Now remember we use cornstarch on our beef, right? So when you start adding this back, you guys got it. If you watch my peach cobbler, you know about them slurries, right? Corn starts, something hot, stir it up, and what happens, it thickens up, right? So now we'll just start adding this in, just like you see. And this right here is gonna help it. Now this is only gonna need to coat this a little while before it you know, thickens all the way up. Now I made a lot, you know what I mean? So I'm only gonna put so much in here unless I wanna make another batch, right? But remember, the corn starts in this will start to thicken up your, you know, your sauce. Okay, now you guys can see when I talk about the thickness, right? So I, what I do is I turn my fire off. And I'm just gonna let it cool, and now I'm getting ready to, you know, get my stuff together. You know, the plate probably gonna have this with some broccoli, almost make it look like beef and broccoli. You know what I mean? Except this is Mongolian beef. You know what I mean? Uh, you hear how quiet it gets, but look, you can see everything is coated nice and thick. Look at that right there. Now, after I have everything cut off, right? So this is what I want to do. I want to go ahead and cut them down. I cut them at an angle to give them that little Asian feel. You know what I mean? Then we take this and we're going to just add them in here like that. All right? Let's just add them all. And we let the heat. Look at that right there. Y'all tell me y'all don't want none of these. I'm gonna say, hey, you playing. Then if you really wanna like step up your game, you can either toast them, you can toast some sesame seeds, or you can just sprinkle some over the top. It's up to you, it's how you wanna present. Toasting gives it a little bit of a different flavor, but that right there, folks, oh my goodness.
Yeah, you know what? I love cooks like this, man. When I tell you it's no stress, you know, let me get a little bit of this rice. You know what I mean? But I didn't had a few already. All I can tell you is this right here is fire, folks. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and just recap that. When I tell you it's like a no stress cook, real simple, easy to make, high on the flavor. And you know what? I don't want to like over talk it to try to sell it. I want you guys to just try it. And listen, if you guys like to have a lot of sauce to put on your rice, you know what I would just say? Hey, double everything that I give you in the recipe. Now, with that being said, listen, no more of them long blah, blah, blahs and all of that. Check it out, folks. It's fire. And guess what? I'm out. Peace.